leading us in here this evening. It's, they do a great job. We saw this earlier this afternoon. And just a reminder, if you could have your phones on silence so that it doesn't interrupt our students as they help lead us in this time of worship. So let's stand as we make our beginning. We make our beginning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we'll be singing, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, which will be projected on the screen. May be seated. My name is Isaiah. I lived and around Jerusalem before the holy night we celebrate here. God gave me a message of warning for his people Israel. He said, don't trust in anything but almighty God, not in rituals, not in alliances with other nations, and not in gods who can't even hear you, much less help you. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. I am Jeremiah. I lived just before the nation of Judah fell during its captivity of Babylon. I begged the people to turn back to God. In the midst of the words of doom, I was able to tell the people, Behold, the days are coming. A king shall reign and prosper. This is the hope that sustained my people through the darkest times. This is the king who we celebrate on this holy night. Yes, it was hard to understand. Even though God said he would send a sign, he said, Behold, the virgin sh shall conceive and bear a son, and she shall call his name Emmanuel. God said, I am the Lord, the God of all mankind. Is anything too hard for me?
God also sent me with a message. I was sent to a Jewish girl with a message that would change her life forever. I am Gabriel. The people were walking in darkness, have seen a great light. I am certain the world seemed dark during the 400 years of the waiting, but at last, the time was right. You are highly favored by God. God is with you. You will conceive and give birth to a son. Name him Jesus. He will be great and the son of the most high. He will reign on the house of his father David and will reign over the house of Jacob forever. Lord, you made the heaven and the earth. Nothing is too hard for you. How can this be? For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in the future. Nothing will be impossible with God. the joy within me. I was excited when I visited my cousin Elizabeth and discovered she was expecting too. 
This is a miracle of God. The Mighty One has done great things for me. These were the words of Zechariah after the birth of his son. The child would be known as John the Baptist. You will go before the Lord to prepare the way for him, to give them knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins. A light has dawned. Even Joseph, who was a good man, concluded that he had two choices. Then came a dream. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary to be your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save the people from their sins. When I woke up from my dream, I did what the angel said to do. Joseph stood by me when it seemed no one else would. We arrived in Bethlehem, but there was no room anywhere. Bethlehem was crowded because of the census. What kind of father was I going to be? Was this stable the best I could do? This story is filled with angelic appearances. This next one is my favorite. Oh, sure, laugh at them. They are scared when the angel talks to them. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. If one angel had us shaking in our sandals, imagine when the whole sky was filled with them. Glory to God in the highest. Glory, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. The angels disappeared as fast as they came.
just lying in a trough where the animals usually ate. It was like the angel said. I carefully remembered every little detail, every moment. When we left, we told everyone what we had seen. God chose the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. He chose the lowly things of this world so that no one would boast before him. We discovered a new star in the sky. When we arrived, we first went to Herod. Herod was threatened by the thought that someone had tried to reign in his place. They told him of Micah's prophecy, and you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the leaders of Judah. Herod sent us to Bethlehem, saying, Go search carefully for the child. When you have found him, report to me so I may worship him. We were not prepared with the arrival of the wise men and their wealth and learning. They came into the house and fell to the ground, worshiping Jesus. They gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. His mercy extends to those who fear him from generation to generation. Glory to God in the highest. 
Is, is anything too, too hard, hard for us? The prophecies have been fulfilled. Every promise of God has been kept. Jesus has come. God is with us. Come and worship. Come and worship. Come and worship. Let's give thanks again for our middle school students.
Master Isabel showing her talents for us tonight, leading us in Silent Night. So what did you think of that, Pastor? It's good. Yeah. I think it was better than this afternoon. I think so. Yeah, you guys are really getting it down. And uh, well, we were thinking uh, and talking earlier this afternoon, you guys did a great job telling a very familiar story in a different kind of way and uh, more of a like contemporary way. Right, and it was something way. different. Right, because it's a story that we've heard countless times. Every year at Christmas, we hear the story of Jesus Christ coming into this world. Yeah, and I like how you guys talked about like proclaiming the message of the prophecies from thousands and thousands of years ago by the prophets Jeremiah, Isaiah, and Micah that just pointed the message that Jesus was coming and then fast forwarded to the angel. And right. like something different, I guess angels now wear white tuxes. Right. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and maybe you need a white tux like but that. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not angel status. You I'm know. like, well, yeah, you're pretty so, close to No, it. no. But uh, yeah, so something a little bit different. It was really cool. And um, I just also loved how with something a little bit different, a very familiar hymn, Away in the Manger. Right, and they're talking about Away to the Cross. Yeah, a little wordplay there for us tonight. You guys were really awesome in bringing that home. He made a way in a manger so that we could have a way through the cross. Right. And then just rolling right into a way in a manger. So thank you kids for showing us something a little bit different for something very familiar, which helps us as adults, you know, as we get joy from this time of Advent, as we anticipate the coming of Jesus, not only as we celebrate in the birth of the Savior in the manger, but him coming again. Right. And so the joy builds up in us. Right, especially as we wait for Christmas, but also that second coming when Christ is going to bring us to that new heaven and that new earth. Yeah, can't wait for that for sure. That would sure. be awesome. Absolutely. So, um, yeah, just uh, doing something a little bit different. I loved how, like, uh, that one song you guys said, uh, what's the deal about Christmas? Going to do something different. Like, uh, rather than, you know, it's all about stuff, how about give a little more love? Right. And, and uh, that's, that's a great message yeah, for us, too. We all need in this world is a little more love, and we can share that love by sharing that message of Jesus with all people. Yeah, for sure. And then just wrapping us up with everything we all know and love so well, Silent Night. And like the house lights come down and forming the cross. Really well done. And so that's the focus, right, of Jesus being our Savior, dying on the cross and rising to new life to give us new life. I mean, what a great way to start our Advent season. Right, because that's what it's about, that new life that we have in mm -hmm. Christ. So, friends, uh, we encourage you to take what you've received this night and do what our middle schoolers did. Proclaim the good news. And you may be in a way that's a little bit different with a message that's very well understood and well known. In, in your workplace, in your family, in your friends, wherever you are, we pray that you've captured a little bit of that joy tonight through our middle schoolers so that you can share something a little bit different about a very familiar story of Jesus coming to be our Savior. Yeah. Yeah. So with that, uh, I think we'll go into our time of prayer. And uh, as we pray, I'll offer a prayer, and then I'll invite you to pray the Lord's Prayer with me. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for loving us so much that you sent your one and only Son to come and be our Savior. And... Uh, Lord, it's a timeless tale. It's a timeless account of your love for all people from ages gone by, through all of time, even to present day. And while the way we say it might be a little different, the message itself is always the same. Your love is unlimited. Your love is for all people. And we pray, Lord, that we receive that message this night as we await the coming of your son, Jesus. Fill us with that hope and that love that you have for us so that we can capture that and make our lives different in you so that we can pass on this message of the good news of Christ. Lord, just as the 
angels proclaimed to the shepherds. And then they came and saw for themselves and proclaimed what they had seen to all around. Help us to do the same as you have proclaimed to us through our middle school students this message of hope for each and every person in this world. Help us to proclaim that far and wide. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We pray together our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. At this time, we'll uh, invite our ushers to come forward to receive our offering. Friends, before we receive the blessing tonight, how about we show our thanks to God for a wonderful presentation of the gospel this evening by our middle schoolers, led by our music director, Jenny Lobbs, and our middle school teachers who all collaborated to bring this point on. Can we just say thanks to God for everything? So I invite you to stand. Please stand. Now on this night as you leave this place, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and to be gracious to you. And may the Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. Amen. We're going to sing What Child Is This? <laughs> 